Praise Jesus. Come on, lift your hands. Lift your hands and worship him. For this joy that we have that the world cannot give, nor can it take away. We have an assurance of a blessed hope. The struggles, the feelings of this life are just for a moment, just for now. But we call them our light afflictions. But I believe this morning that all things, as according to the scripture, all things work together for good. To them that love the Lord, who are the called according to his purpose. Whatever you're going through, whatever you're facing, it is for the glory of God. Join us in this prayer this morning as we sing for your glory. Praise Jesus. Worship with us. Continue to lift your hands all over this sanctuary. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord Jesus. To you alone be all the glory, Jesus. To you alone be all the praise, Jesus. Every trial, every persecution, it's for your glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus.
Blessed be your great and awesome name. We lift you up on high. We lift you up. You are high and you are lifted up. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. 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 What a wonderful presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. I wonder if we could just stand right now as we prepare to receive the minister of the word. Hallelujah. to God. Hallelujah, thine the glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah, thine the glory. Hallelujah, 
one more time. Oh, hallelujah, 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 Just before we invite the minister to come with the word, next week, Sunday night, we have been specially invited over to Spanish Town to share with Pastor Simpson and the Saints what we have done annually. And he's really asking for our help. He wants the choir to be there. He wants the saints to be there. And we are going to plan so that we can be there in our, our numbers and so next week, Sunday night, we are going to ask as all our membership and we will make some provision so that we can all motor over next week, Sunday night. So we will have service there and we, you will hear more next week, Sunday morning and we will make provision for us so that a mighty throng from here will go over to support them in their effort in Spanish town. So just bear that in mind. Amen. Praise God. Just lift your hands one more time as we sing that chorus. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes. By the glory. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Dying the glory, hallelujah. Revive, Revive us again. As we continue to worship the Lord, please welcome to this pulpit to deliver the words of the living God, Minister Leonard Smith and the Holy Ghost. Receive him in the name of the Lord Jesus. Praise God. I see a crimson stream of blood. Somebody sing that song for me, please. It flows from Calvary. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. With another little chorus that says something like, Calvary, Calvary, won't you please speak to me? Just raise that one also. Calvary, 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 won't you please, please speak to me and tell me how much I owe. that I'm not standing before you heavy and conflicted because of the weight of the responsibility imposed upon us by this concept of Calvary. Calvary the meaning and the impact of Calvary cannot be understated. And this defines what church is all about. I wonder if somebody is with me. I understand your fears and I understand your sorrows. I understand my hurt and I understand my pain. But my pain and my hurt is not what characterizes the church or the living God. Because I was told from the very beginning that if any man would come after me, let him deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. This responsibility is not an ordinary responsibility. And every now and then we need to go back to Calvary. Every now and then we need to ask ourselves the question, glorify your name, Jesus. Have I done my best for Jesus? Every now and then I need to ask myself, am I true to the cross of Calvary? And I believe this is one of those defining moments. Can somebody worship the Lord Jesus? I believe if we are not too careful, we may lose sight of the hope of this gospel, this glorious gospel and the responsibility which it imposes on the people of the living God. Is there a worshiper still in this house? 
glorify your name, Jesus. And with such a responsibility, glorify your name, Jesus. We should ensure, glorify your name, that everything else takes second place when it comes to Calvary. Is there still a worshiper in this house? Can I get somebody to lift holy hands and begin to worship the King of Kings? And the Lord of Lords, glorify your name, Jesus. For it's good to sing those wonderful songs of the love of God and the healing power of Jesus Christ. But if we are not so excited to sing the songs of Calvary, something has gone radically wrong. Maybe you need to be seated. Something has gone radically wrong. If we are not careful, glorify your name, Jesus. We may lose the burden and the purpose for which we are called and get so caught up in the things and the isms and the schisms that surround us that we may lose sight of the glory of God and the power of the cross. I put it to somebody today that had it not been for the blood of Jesus Christ, none of us would be here in this house today. Is there still a worshiper in the house of God? I'm here to exalt the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. I'm here to exalt the purpose of his kingdom and his righteousness. Is there still a worshiper in the house of God? I would to God today that somebody would realize and recognize and answer the call to which we are called. There still needs to be a worshiper in this house. There still needs to be a worshiper in this house. Glorify your name, Jesus. Because I'm going somewhere and I think I'm going to end up going there alone. Glorify your name, Jesus. Because you see the weight of the responsibility of Calvary comes with some things. And there are some things which should never impose upon the work of Calvary, the work of the gospel. There are some things which should never impose itself on this glorious call. Glorify your name, Jesus. And I would to God that someone rec would recognize that, listen, the vessels that carry praise God this message God has entrusted this message in earthen vessels and if this vessel is not right with God we can sing all the songs of walking on streets of coal all we want glorify your name Jesus if this earthen vessel is not right the message is going to come out distorted is there still a worshiper in this house? I said, is there still a worshiper in this house? This vessel needs to be a vessel. Pure and holy. Tried and true. This vessel needs to be a sold out vessel. A sold out vessel for the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Glorify your name, Jesus. There is some power that needs to go before us in order to see souls born in the kingdom of God and this power comes not by might it is not by carnal power but it is by the spirit of the living God is there still a worshiper here and the spirit of God Glorify your name. Don't work and operate in any and any vessel. It don't operate in any and any environment. It don't operate with any and any emotion. Oh, come on, somebody. It operates in a state that only the Holy Ghost alone can create. So what does the Bible say? Create in me a what? And a renewal and within me restore to me the joy of thy salvation so there is an environment and a state that the church needs to exist in in order to be effective and i'm gonna put it to you today 
glorify your name, Jesus. And I don't want nobody to call off my phone after this. Glorify your name, Jesus. After I make this statement. But there is no us and them. I said there is no us and them. Glorify your name, Jesus. This environment must be ripe. And it must be right in order to execute the cross. For there is no disunity in the cross. There is no disfellowship in the cross. Glorify your name, Jesus. For we have been given the ministry of reconciliation. I feel the Holy Ghost in here. And if you don't come with me, I'm going. Because the church of the living God is alive and well. The bride is set and the kingdom must come. I could shut I could shut I feel like fire shut up within my bones because there are some things that should never creep in on our ears. No sneaky, sneaky. No division. For God is not divided. I could shut Glorify your name, Jesus. Glorify your name, Jesus. I would to God that somebody glorify your name, Jesus. Your soul would catch a fire with the Holy Ghost. Because the Holy Ghost don't dwell where there is disunity. The Holy Ghost don't dwell where there is strife. Where there is clamorings, where there is whisperings, glorify your name, Jesus. Don't call off my phone asking me which side you're upon. I feel the Holy Ghost in this place. I could shut your behind. Devil, you're a liar. I bind you with the blood, with the blood. Of the Lamb, there is no us and them. There is just Jesus. I said, there is just Jesus. Give me Jesus in the morning. Sons of God, arise! I said, sons of God, shake him off. Shake the devil off. Shake the devil off. I command you, Satan. I could shut Tayabaha. Who are you calling up? Asking them why they're not in church. Asking them why they're not in church. Glorify your name, Jesus. Glorify your name, Jesus. If you're calling them, asking them why they're not in church, make sure you're prepared to call them to invite them. Is everything okay? Let's talk. Come on, let's fellowship. Glorify your name, Jesus. Don't call them asking them. Glorify your name, Jesus. You turn against me. You're against me. Don't call them. Because this is not what the church of the living God was bred upon. Glorify your name, Jesus. I feel the Holy Ghost in here. And if the preacher don't preach it, I could shut up. We talk about the right environment. Glorify your name, Jesus. I feel, I feel a burden. I feel a press on my shoulder. Glorify your name, Jesus. And if this church has any aspiration towards greatness in God, the way up is the way down. I said, listen to me, man. The way up is down. And some of us right here and right now need to find an altar of repentance. Men, men are complex creatures and it is possible to do the right thing the wrong way. It is possible to do the right thing the wrong way. 
Come on, somebody. Because I know my Bible tells me about the meekest man that ever lived. Oh, come on, somebody. God said, listen, you're going to get water. Oh, glorify your name for these people. Just speak to the rock. You know, if God says something, I eat that. The story done. There is no argument or debate or discussion. If God says so, I saw it go. Come on, somebody. We don't need to kick and fight and dance about. Come on, somebody. All we need to do is stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. But let me tell you something. It is possible that we can take the things of God and do it the wrong way so that we get the promise of God. But if we don't do it right, there are consequences to pay. I said there are consequences to pay. Come on, somebody. So when Moses tried that rock, Come on, somebody. Did the water come? I said, did the water come? Did God's word come true? But yet still there was a problem. Oh, come on, somebody. You're still in church? You're still in church. You want to go to heaven and rest? You want to make it? You want to walk on streets of gold? I said, the hand of God is a dreadful hand. It is a fearful thing to fall at the hand of God. Glorify your name, Jesus. So let me tell you something. Search yourself. Search me, O oh God. Know my heart. I feel the Holy Ghost in here. I feel the Holy Ghost in here. Glorify your name, Jesus. For every chain must be broken. Every bind shall be loosed. But in a loose come by might. My articulation can't lose nobody. Glorify your name, Jesus. Glorify your name, God. But if the anointing of God and the power of God shall flow, every vessel must be purged. It's not my will. But thy will be done. But thy will be done. Come on, somebody. Is there still a worshiper in the house? I said, is there still a worshiper in the house? Glorify your name, Jesus. Glorify your name, Jesus. If there are some things that you can't handle, I'm suggesting to you, let it go. If you can't handle it, let it go. If you're right and offend you, cut it off. But don't let corruption come into your heart. Resentment is a deadly sin. Bitterness is a deadly sin. Strife, the Bible said, don't run here to the strife. Leave out the strife thing alone. Let God fight your battles. I feel the Holy Ghost in here. I feel the Holy Ghost in here. Somebody needs to get a fresh touch from Calvary. Somebody needs to remember, glorify your name, Jesus. That the nominal thing can't work. Yes, so glorify your name, Jesus. I say, but biting and strife is a hindrance to the anointing. And God has not given you a gift in vain. God has not given you your anointing in vain lift your hands and worship him lift your hands and worship him we need to separate ourselves from some things if we can't handle it and handle it right glorify your name Jesus and if you have art whether intentionally or unintentionally to communicate division to your neighbor find them back and reconcile don't come in here with no gift Don't come in here with no gift. For what the Bible say, if you're coming to give your gift, huh? And you remember that your brother have art against you. Leave your gift. Go and find him. Say this thing is not worth my fellowship with you. Some of us treat fellowship too lightly. Fellowship. Glorify your name, Jesus.
is what God had desired towards us while we were yet sinners while we were far from the commonwealth of Israel he desired fellowship come on somebody that fellowship was projected before you got the Holy Ghost uh oh love was sent before you got the Holy Ghost it is because of love why you got the Holy Ghost it is because of love why you got your anointing it is because of love why you got the gift to speak in tongues to heal to discern spirits to sing a song to preach a word love comes before all So let me warn somebody. Let me admonish you in the Lord. Glorify your name, Jesus. Glorify your name, Jesus. Get rid of that spirit. Glorify your name, Jesus. Glorify your name, Jesus. I'm looking at the message that I had. And it's, it, glorify your name, Jesus. Let me tell you something. God, hallelujah to God. As a purpose ordained, glorify your name, Jesus, for every church that he established, including this one. Uh-oh. Glorify your name, Jesus. Glorify your name, Jesus. Glorify your name, Jesus. What does the Bible say about pride? It goes before a fall. Humble ourselves under the mighty hand of God. And it is God who will lift us up. Is there still a worshiper in this house? I said, is there still a worshiper in this house? Glorify your name, Jesus. Glorify your name. Let me talk about this cross and the power of this cross. Glorify your name, Jesus. It is powerful such that no sin. Glorify your name, Jesus, can surpass or supersede it. It doesn't matter what kind of a sin or fault you have. Whether you're saved or you're unsaved, the blood that gives me strength from day to day. I wonder if there's somebody here without the Holy Ghost. You are in the right place at the right time. For judgment first begins in the house of the Lord. And you are come. Glorify your name, Jesus, into the kingdom for such a time as this. You're in the right place where righteousness is preached. And if there is sin in your life, we've got the word for you. For God has given us the ministry of reconciliation. And we know our way to Calvary. We know the way of the cross. Is there still a worshiper in the house? Is there still a worshiper in the house? Glorify your name, Jesus. If I'm missing from church one or two days, don't call me. Come on, somebody. Don't call me unless you're calling me to exhort me and to encourage me. Because if I miss one or two days, you know it's a difficult thing. It's like when you come, you have to start all over again. And you have to be building things up. And you have to build up back your worship. So I know one, one, one more thing add to my list. Lord God Almighty, the brethren them think ill of me. Don't add anything. Don't add anything. The devil is already rife. Come on, somebody. Is there still a worshiper in the house? Is there still a worshiper in the house? Let's stand to our feet in the name of the Lord Jesus. Let's stand to our feet in the name of the Lord Jesus. Glorify your name, Jesus. Let's lift our hands. Let's lift our hands. Let's lift our hands. Glorify your name, Jesus, and allow God to do his thing. He would have begun a good work in us. I say he's faithful. I said he's faithful. Glorify your name, Jesus. He don't need you to fight his battle for him. Oh, glorify your name, Jesus. Is there still a worshiper in the house? Glorify your name, Jesus. Is there still a worshiper in the house? If you feel like you have crossed the boundary that you want to come back over, the altar is open. 
If you are unsaved in the house, glorify your name, Jesus. And in your life, there is conflict and strife. Know today that the word of God is reaching out to you. I don't know what your circumstances are. Hallelujah to God. Sing us. The song simply says, there's healing in his hands for you. Glorify your name. There Somebody is coming. This is the house of reconciliation. This is the house of forgiveness. This is the house of fellowship. Glorify your name, Jesus. And if you desire, if you desire to find fellowship, if you desire to find healing, glorify your name. Come. The Holy Ghost will fight your battle. The Holy Ghost will calm your storm. Glorify your name, Jesus. He will not leave you out. I see that crimson stream of blood flowing. I said it's flowing. I said it's flowing. Glorify your name, Jesus. Glorify your name, Jesus. Saints, notice that I don't say altar worker. That says saints. Altars with these unbelievers come now if you are named a name called saint I'm speaking to you come to these altars right behind these unbelievers one touch from your hand can make a difference one utter of prayer can change a life Let's get back to Calvary. Let's get back to the cross. Come. This burden is not just for the altar workers. This burden is for the sons of God. Will you come?
I'm but your humble servant. Do with me what you will. Humble my heart so that I can receive.
Thank you.